Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to install Linux, how to set up ADB and how to install Android APK on your Chromebook. So this is going to be a little bit of a longer tutorial, so let's start with installing Linux first. Now Linux is already built into your Chromebook, but you do have to enable it. So what we're going to do is we're going to head to bottom right and going to go settings. Once we're here, we're going to click on advanced. Once we're on, on advanced, we're going to go uh, click on developers. Now he, this is what we need. It says Linux development environment. So for this to work, you do need to have this. So all we're going to do is we're going to do turn on and then we're going to do next. Now this is, um, you can do different usernames. I'm just going to call my Milo and this is the space how much space you're going to give linux now i recommend i have for example 64 gigabytes i'm going to give it about um it just depends what are you trying to do with linux if you're trying to install a lot of the apks like for example games so keep that in mind each game can be two three gigabytes and they can be even larger or smaller. So for example, I'm just gonna give it 20 gigabytes. If you do, for example, if, if your storage is over 100 gigabytes, then give it uh, 40, 50 gigabytes. But if your storage is 32 gigabytes, then, you know, maybe like 10, 15. So now all we have to do is click on install. And this is going to take a couple minutes All right, so you just finished, it took a couple minutes. So right now we have the Linux enabled. So let's close this. And uh, let me just show you something in the app section. Um, we are looking for terminal. So we're just gonna type it in and this is what we want. And this is the Linux terminal. Now we can do manage. And if we go to Linux, we can manage shared folders, we can manage USB devices, we can backup and restore Linux, and we can develop Android apps. And this is where we're going to enable ADB debugging. I'll do that in a little bit. And we, we can also do port forwarding, and also we can change the storage that we did in the beginning. So if you feel like you need more storage, you can change that. And we can also allow Linux access to your microphone. And if we don't like Linux, we can just remove it. It's going to take a couple minutes and it's going to go back to normal. So let's close this. And um, this is the terminal that we want. Let's see if we can go back. We can. And we have connections to remote devices. So if we want to add that, we also have terminal settings. If you want to change the how the terminal looks, if you want it light, dark, we can also uh, mess around with the keyboard and mouse. We can do behaviors, SSH, and then this is the about. So let's close that. And we also have the developer settings, which we did earlier. So once we open that terminal, we're going to update Linux. So you're going to type what I'm typing right now. Make sure everything is spelled correctly. So for example, if you add two spaces, it's not going to work. If you misspell something, it's not going to work. So it has to be exactly. So we're going to type in sudo apt-get space update. And we're going to do end two times sudo apt-get upgrade space y so we're going to press enter and now it's just going to do its thing it's going to update linux And that's it. So now we're just going to close this. We're going to do exit.
So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to enable ADB. So the way we're going to do this is we're just going to go developer settings or you can go to the bottom right and click on settings and then we're going to go find the Linux. Once we're here, we're going to do develop Android apps and now we're going to enable this. Now it says to, to enable ADB debugging, restart of this Chromebook is required. The same plan disabling it requires a reset to factory settings so keep that in mind so you won't need to factory reset to enable it but if you want to go back just to the regular Chromebook no ADB debugging you will need to factory reset all right so now we're just gonna do restart and continue all right now that we're back and logged in we did get another message when it was restarting if we want to confirm it which I did so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna open up our terminal again and uh, we're going to open up the penguin and now it's saying starting the, uh, the Linux all right it's ready so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna install ADB platform tools so make sure everything is spelled correctly we're gonna do sudo apt get space install android dash to dash adb I'm gonna do space and y all right now that that is done we're going to connect android system on linux so we're gonna type in adb connect 100 115-92-255555 and now here is going to say allow USB debugging and we're going to type in always allow and now we're going to do allow it's going to ask, ask us again allow all right, so that's it. We're going to exit this and make sure it is enabled. So we're going to go manage. We're going to click on Linux. And as we can see, this is enabled right now. All right, so if you do end up having problems like uh, permission denied or command not found, you can always do this ADB star server and that should solve some of those issues. So the next thing I'm going to show you is how to install Android APKs on your Chromebook. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to open up your browser and in the search bar you're going to type in the APK you want. For example, I wanted to try Safari browser on my Chromebook, so I type in Safari browser APK download. Once, that, once you have that downloaded, you're going to open up files and you're going to go downloads and this is the safari browser i downloaded just now we're going to rename it so we're just going to put in something a little bit more easier we're just going to type in safari.apk make sure the way you type it in that's the way you're going to type it in the terminal so make sure it's something easy all uh, for me it's all lower letters safari and the dot apk is going to stand and once we have the name change we're going to drag it to the linux files once that's complete, we're going to open up our Linux files. I already have another one that I did. But this one is going to be safari.apk. Once we have that done, we're going to close it. Now we have to open up our terminal. And we're going to run our terminal. And now all we're going to do is we're going to do adb install safari.apk. Make sure, uh, for example, if it's something else, you're going to do something else. For me, it's safari.apk. I'm going to run it. Now, we did get an error. It says error more than one device emul emulator. This is a pretty common issue, but we're going to, uh, but we're going to fix it. We're going to type in adb s emulator slash 5554 space install and again we're gonna do safari.apk for you might be something else something different and now it says success performing stream install success and now we're gonna exit out of here we're gonna close this I'm gonna go try finding that safari browser um, I here we go we did find it let's see if it works because some apps will not work 
some apps will be mobile versions so you just have to have patience with with this and um, choose what to allow the far browser to access um, Uh, let's just allow it. Location, physical activity. I'm not sure why it needs that, but the app was built for all the version engine. It doesn't matter. Let's just give it a try to see if it works. Let's see if we can. Uh... But this is just an older app. This is just something that came to my mind since I was on macOS. Again, you can download any APK you want. This was just an example. And uh, let's see if it if it even oh it will work. But this is just a very very old version of the Safari browser. Um, Safari browser is the main one I use on my uh, Mac OS, so it just came to my mind. And so that's how you install APKs on your Android. Keep in mind you can do any single Android APK you want. You can do games and mods. Uh, some of them will work great. Some of them will not work at all. Some of them will be mobile version. So you know have patience and just have fun it's all all about experimenting and having fun don't stress too much if it doesn't work check the spelling and if that doesn't work leave me a comment maybe i can help you so thank you guys for watching and if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video